One of the tight ends I'm worried about in 2023 is Dalton Schultz because Dalton Schultz gave off the appearance of being a mid pack tight end one because he was tight end four in rate of top five weeks at 15%. He was tight end five in rate at which he scored at least 12 and a half points in half PPR. He was seventh in targets, 10th in target share, seventh in red zone targets and ninth in fancy points per game. So Dalton Schultz was giving off mid tight end one vibes. And I, what I'm saying is that he's going to be a free agent in 2023. The Dallas Cowboys had used other tight ends successfully throughout the year, whether that's Hendershot or, or other tight ends. I think that Dalton Schultz is not going to resign with the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys are going to prioritize other things over getting Schultz back. And there are efficiency metrics that you have to raise your eyebrow and say, this is not what you expect from a mid-pack tight end one. He was 17th in yards per route run, 26th in yards per target, 13th in yards per team pass attempt, 14th in fancy points per route run, and 22nd in fancy points per target. Those are like, it, the 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 name that comes to mind for me is to Austin Hooper. Hooper put up mid at tight end one numbers with Atlanta, and then he signs as a free agent with the Browns and eventually goes to Tennessee as well and just is this middling tight end two with middle to low end athleticism that just so happened to get a lot of touchdowns and be a reliable target for Matt Ryan when he was with Atlanta. And I think a similar corollary happens with Dalton Schultz, where he was a reliable tight end with Dak Prescott. And in a change of scenery, obviously we have to take a look at where does Dalton Schultz land. But if he goes to a place where there's high level target competition, then you have to be worried about Dalton Schultz. I think there's a wide range of outcomes. And I think that Schultz has seen his ceiling in 2022. So I am not targeting Dalton Schultz right now as the tight end eight, an underdog. I'd rather take shots and like David and Joku at tight end seven or, or take really late, like Taysom Hill. You're like, you're not winning weeks with Dalton Schultz as your tight end drafting him at tight end eight. You're drafting him out of necessity. I need to fill a tight end spot. No, you don't. You can wait till later and just take two players and you're probably going to fill what Dalton Schultz was doing for you in the seventh, eighth rounds of whenever you, whenever you're drafting Schultz, I I'm not in on that price point. I think Dalton Schultz would be a league loser. If you're drafting him at tight end eight at this point, he, that is within his range of outcomes. There are red flags for Schultz buyer. Beware drafter. Beware. I am concerned about Schultz going into 2023.